Chicano. That's right, and his name is Emilio Delgado. Before I get to him, I just want to say that some strange, unforeseen circumstances have occurred. Basically, I don't want to get too much into it, but I was using a dictation app, and I had a script that I wrote, and I just happened to pick up my cell phone, and magically everything got erased. So, I'm a bit upset, and upset is my old word of how I actually feel. Anyways, I just think it's uh, kind of strange. It always occurs when I want to make a Latino themed video. But I feel I need to highlight some of the Latino achievements because nobody else is doing it. So with no witty and exciting script, let's get to it. With the spontaneity. So, if you haven't heard already, he recently passed away. Actually, last month, March 10th. And as you can see here, he was on Sesame Street for more than 40 years. And he actually had one of the longest careers on television. Out of anybody. I would just scroll down and read a little about him here. You can see he was 81. Good long life. Right here they just talk about how he passed away with um, myeloma. Some kind of cancer in the blood cells. And I didn't know about this, but apparently he was the artistic director of the Barrio Theater Ensemble of East L.A. I didn't know something like that existed, so that's good. Uh, more Latinos should get into acting. That was actually a background extra type actor for several years I never wanted to be an actor I just wanted to get the connections network because um, I'm into filmmaking and script writing so basically the article goes on remembering him but I want to talk about what I brought up in the beginning. As I stated, a Chicano was the first human character to be on Sesame Street. According to my research, that evaporated out of thin air, anyways. But actually, um, he wasn't the only one. There was two Latinos. It was him and the great Raul Julia. Puerto Ricano. I didn't know he was on Sesame Street, actually. So apparently, the show started as a means for children to become bilingual, to learn Spanish and English at the same time. That's why they took on two Latino actors. Throughout his career, Emilio went to do other programs. He was actually on Law and Order. And uh, I remember seeing him on uh, the Lou Grant show. You know, that brings back memories in my age
So now I just want to give my personal experience with watching him on TV. I suppose seeing the New York type of backdrop or back lot there on Sesame Street, I guess that kind of made me identify him as being more of a New Yorker type, maybe Puerto Rican or uh, even his features, it looks more indigenous than, um, you know, the type of Latinos I grew up with here in California. Although, ironically, he was born in California. Calixico, just south of San Diego. I don't really remember identifying with him as uh, being Latino. As a child and being an American Mexican. I like to say American Mexican rather than Mexican American because I don't like the classification as uh, being a second class citizen, basically. Yeah, I was born here in America, so that comes first. And looking back at my child self, that I can see in front of that TV, it makes me happy to know that he was there. He made it. He became the accepted one. I just wanted to scroll through YouTube and see how many TV stations actually mentioned something about him. Because I didn't see uh, too much info on my nightly news. Then I come down here to ABC World News. I usually watch them every night. And you can see they only mentioned 40 seconds. Not good. Here's a little clip from GMA. Life of a man who brought so much joy to so many families. Tributes pouring in for Emilio Delgado, best known as Luis on Sesame Street. He passed away at 81 years old. Chris Connolly has more on his legacy. Hey, Chris. George, a friend, a teacher, a role model. As Luis on Sesame Street, Emilio Delgado held an honored place in the hearts of millions of children and their grateful family. Here's a few words from Cecilia Vega. American Mexican, uh, White House correspondent, and probably the only Latina that I see that handles world news events. Thank you so much. He really brought me back to my own childhood, uh, and, and he really is an example of why representation matters so much. You didn't see Mexican Americans like Luis, and to his co star Maria, who played Maria too, really um, growing up for them was just indelible memories of my childhood and watching them. So I thank them and their families for that. We're going to conclude this video with this interview that I found of him. 1972, he was probably 36, 37. Interesting to see how nothing has really changed for the Chicano. Emilio, who is Luis on Sesame Street? Uh, Luis on Sesame Street is the, uh, is the only Chicano that I know of. Uh, he's been around a long time. He's uh, been around a long time. I think what what uh, what Luis tries to say on, on on the show, or you know, the the concept of Luis is that um, uh, well, you know, Sesame Street up to now has been uh, mostly directed toward um, so the, the black child or, or the, uh, the, the white child, you know, the disadvantaged child, and uh, up to now, the, the Chicano child is you know has been uh, non-existent as far as the Sesame. The Chicano is, is today, he's now, he's contemporary, he's a part of, you know, uh, lo que pasa, you know. He's, uh, he's a policeman, he's a uh, lawyer, he's a doctor, you know, you name it, man. But that's not the way that he, there's no Chicanos on TV being portrayed in those kind of roles, positive roles. Puros payasos and lackeys, he, you know, bandits, that's the only kind of roles that, that have been up to now on TV. Ya comienza la cosa a cambiar starting to change right now and it's in a token stage now but uh, at least it's changing